Soul Eyeglass is one business demonstrating craftsmanship around one medium. But the two artists behind it have two very different styles they're perfecting out in 21 Country. There's always an element of unknown with glass. If we talk about the glass most of the day, it seems like. I started <laughs> as, I, as just playing around in high school many years ago. I did a little bit of work with glass. Emily and I went to a class here in town on uh, glass blowing. I said, you know, I remember doing this and I really like it. And that was eight years ago, 10 years ago. Yep. Eight, eight, I think. You was hooked. <laughs> yep, and I was hooked. <laughs> I'm a glass fuser. And I use sheet art glass. I basically cut it up and put it back together again to make new designs. These are some samples of the dried plant material that I use um, in what's called fossil vitra, which means fossils in glass. These will be dusted in enamel powder and then um, uh, put on a piece of glass. The plant material will burn away and the impression of the plant material will be left permanently adhered to the glass. And I do what's called flame working, so I use a torch to melt rods of glass to a molten state. Uh, making beads, I wrap them around a mandrel so they have a hole in the center and they're pretty much symmetric. And I, I make beads for necklaces and make a lot of earring beads. That way I also make some marbles and start making some flowers. Some of the work is very, very detailed. I, um, I use some little threads of glass that are about six thousandths of an inch diameter. I've got to have pretty steady hands to do that. So some days it's just not there. It's just a given that today it works and tomorrow it doesn't and sometimes you don't know why. That, that's why I always get excited opening the kiln because I want to see what's in there. I want to see if it worked. Being an engineer takes a particular mindset, a particular set of rules for many things. And what I'm finding is that this art is allowing me to release some of that and be more of the artist that I am than I have been in the past many years while I've been working. It's wonderful to have a glass partner um, so that we can bounce ideas off of each other and I can show him something and he can say, That's I don't okay. like this color here, you want to swap those too? Okay. I do a lot of landscapes and people will often ask me if they're painted and always, always I say, you do not want me to paint anything for you. I am not a painter. A lot of my landscapes are done with glass powder, which is a, just a very fine grain of crushed up glass. It's almost the consistency of flour. They can look painted in a way, but they're not. It's all glass. All of our products, everything we show is all glass. You hope that what you've made has some artistic value to it and that someone else will see and appreciate that too. Wow, that is some artistry there, it really is. Uh, you can usually find Soul Eye Glass at farmers markets across the area. We have more information about them on our website right now, WPTA21.com.